Welcome to Hart County Public Library Outreach Virtual Storytime. We are so glad that you could join us. Bunny's First Spring is written by New York Times bestselling author Sally Lloyd-Jones and illustrated by award-winning artist David McPhail. Bunny's First Spring celebrates the joy-filled rebirth and renewal at the heart of springtime. As the earth thaws and the robins return to their nest, the little bunny discovers hope, transformation, and the miracle of new life all around him. The bunny was born in the spring when the world was green and new. The earth is new like me, he said, and the trees grew full, and the grass grew tall, and the days grew long, and the bunny grew. New lambs came on wobbly legs. Tiny chicks from hatching eggs, ducklings swimming all in lines, and one little bunny bouncing. The robins came and built their nest in the apple tree and sang to the new day, and their songs filled the air and the little bunny's heart. The world is beautiful, he said. Like you, whispered his mother. And the sun shone in the sky. The apples grew on their branches, the corn grew in its husk, the flowers grew in their field, the babies grew feathers and flew, and the little tumbling bunny grew. The world is growing strong, he said, like you, whispered his dad. The days went on, and the wind grew cold, the shadows grew long, the days grew short, and the bunny grew a warm coat, and the apple tree dropped all her leaves. Are you sick? the bunny asked, but she didn't answer. The swallows left the barn, the frogs left the pond, the field mice left the meadow. Don't go! the bunny cried, but they had to. Why are all the leaves falling? Why are the birds leaving? The bunny cried. Just wait, said his mom. You'll see, said his dad. And the sun sank low. The days went on, and the white frost bit the earth and turned it to stone. The apple tree stood alone in the cold moonlight, like a skeleton, and fear gripped the little bunny's heart. The beautiful earth must be dying. From the treetops in the sky, a woodpecker pecked, rat-a-tat-tat, and yet and yet, and out of a hole in a tree, an owl called out, too, ter -whit who? Not true, not true. But the sad, cold little bunny didn't hear them. He wanted his mommy. The frozen streams heard him sigh. We'll run again, they seemed to cry. The tall, dead grasses all were rustling. But we're not dead, we're only sleeping. The lost flowers were singing on and on. But we're only hidden. We're not gone. The little fairy trees all dancing together in the breeze. Next summer's leaf is furled. We're just waiting for the word. Our branches may look bare, but all our buds are there. The little bunny jumped into his burrow under the snow. I'm feeling very sleepy now, said the bunny. Like the world, whispered his mom and dad. The sun went down and didn't come out. And the days went on until one morning when the bunny woke up and sniffed the air and something was different. Below the snow, hidden in every root, inside every bud, in every seed, 
a secret was stirring. The ice was melting, the soil was cracking like a spell breaking. Tiny earthquakes everywhere. Up from the mud with songs came the frogs. Up through cracks in the ground came bright green shoots. Out of the woods came little sleepers waking from their long winter sleep. And the robins came and built their nest in the apple tree. Robin eggs the color of all the sea and sky. And they sang to the new day, and their songs fill the air and the little bunny's heart. It's the birthday of the world, said the bunny. And yours too, said his mom and dad. And the sun rose out of the dark night and came down and sparkled on the grass and glittered on the leaves and skipped on the shining streams. The sun is dancing, said the bunny, and then he went bouncing all around. Like you, whispered his mom and dad. Like me, said the happy bouncing bunny. God has written the promise of new life, not just in books alone, but in every leaf in springtime. Paraphrased from Martin Luther.